Hey YouTube, I am back with another tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a navigation bar in Photoshop and how to put it into Dreamweaver. So let's get started. First you want to make the dimensions 900 by 50. You can honestly do this however you want. But this is just how I this is just how I am gonna do it in this tutorial. So take the background layer, can convert it to a smart object, rasterize the layer, double click it, go to go to gradient, reverse it, and just change this color. I'm gonna change it to about 10, 10, 10, and this one to about. 2B, 2B, 2B. That oh, looks pretty good. And then just click OK. You can do many other things with the color of it, but that's just how I prefer it. And then take your text tool, and uh, mine is Myriad Pro font, and then 17 for the font size. I'm going to make a couple. Couple words, home, tutorial, gallery, downloads, and contact. Alright, after that, you want to make a new layer, take the marquee tool. Make sure it's width 180 by 50 on a style size, style as fixed size, not normal. You just click anywhere, and it should make some, make a marquee of that rate the that box that you wanted, and just put it at the end. And since you made a new layer, the first make sure the foreground color is white, and click Alt Backspace, and then deselect. Go to Opacity, change that to 15 should turn out like this and after that after that you want to duplicate the layer like that this and click shift and move it like this and keep doing that to all the way or you can just click control J it duplicates move it control J move it control J and move it one more time after that you want to Control click thumbnail of layer one. Go back to your home text. Go align, align vertical center, align horizontal center. Then go to tutorials. Do the same thing for the next layer. And just keep doing that for all of them. So then they're all aligned perfectly. And the last one is contact. All right, they're all aligned perfectly. Now just control D, control D or to deselect. And then I'm going to make these invisible. Actually, no. Just gonna keep the keep the first one. Make everything else invisible. Take the splice tool. It should be under the crop tool and hold down the crop tool and then you get the splice tool click anywhere over here and click the end of this and it would make, make a splice right here on that box do that again make this one invisible do that again for this one and splice that again do it again for the next one just keep doing that until you got the splices that you wanted And I'm going really quick with this. Yes, but it's really fairly really simple. And there you have it. You got your splices. Now make make don't make sure your rollover image. These images are not. They're not um, visible. And go to file, save for web, and show up like this. Make sure it's PNG 24. Save. Find the folder that you want to save it on. 
go to my desktop go to website tutorial and I'm going to make a new folder called images open that and save navbar into there and then do that again but make these visible and do file save for web save go into your images folder and save it as nav over it should be like that then go into dreamweaver and here I'm gonna open my index folder make a new HTML folder and save it name it index.html and I'm going to make go over to this side and make insert a div tag on the insert tab you can all get it by clicking windows insert I'm going to get a div tag I'm going to name the ID navbar then click a new CSS rule just click OK there click box on the left hand side that should change to that width is 900 by 50 that's how the uh, what the size is Mar for the margin uncheck the same for all go to right and put auto left auto apply ok and then click ok again and I'm also going I'm also going to just go to design it should show up like this I'm gonna take out this content for ID nap bar goes here because I honestly you don't need that and now I'm gonna go and click rollover image and change this to home browse for the image should be right here yes it's right there and then browse for the rollover image then they'll be in this one and click OK and this is where you're gonna link you can also link where you want it to go so when clicked go to URL so I'm gonna browse for that folder click index and whenever you click on home now it's gonna browse for index and do it again make this tutorials browse oh crap wrong one make sure you have the rollover as the right one and I don't have other folders so I'm not gonna link this one and gallery browse click OK do the same, same thing for all of them downloads browse alright and the last one is contact Browse it one more time. Find the folder. Contact for the file, and then all right. And there you have it. You have your um, centered navigation bar. When I go to live mode, it shows up like this, and it's totally how you wanted it. Like whatever, whichever way you made your nav bar, that's how you got it and when you scroll over it it will show your rollover so you watch and whenever you click it this one will go to home page but it's obviously you can't go to the home page right now because the home page is this page but that's how it's gonna be and this is and that's how you, that's all there is to it guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will have more website tutorials later on and hopefully you guys learned something and don't forget to check out my other videos I will see you guys later peace